So I'm going to demonstrate a chin tuck with a slouch. And it's going to be a little bit easier to see from the side, so here we go through it. So when I tuck my chin down, what I would like to see is a reaction of my upper rib cage. So what that means is that when I bring my chin down, I don't want to just see my body hinge down, but rather I want to see that my whole spine can articulate well. So as I bring my chin down, it's as if my upper back or my shoulders allow them to go around the rib cage. So as I come down, I let my sternum drop a bit and I get into this position. So we can just do that a few times, allowing this to go down and creating a reaction where my nipple line or rib cage doesn't stay up, it's allowed to fall down. Breathe in here, exhale down. I could even be slightly reaching my fingertips down. Now, I'm not going fully down here. It's just a matter of bringing the chin down and allowing my upper body to react accordingly. Now, in this position, I could turn my head to the left, keeping my chin down, and that will give me a bit more stretch on my right, or I could do this as well. So I could just go through towards the side that's tight, for example, or the other way, depending on what scenario we discussed for you, or we can stay in this button position and turn the head to the side here. Even as the arm reaches, so as, as I reach my arm to the left, I will look. As I reach my left arm, I reach to the left, I look left, and then I go the other way. I'm just alternating and creating a counter rotation so that my ribcage rotates while my head goes the other way. We don't need to get so fancy with it though. Ultimately, you can just hang down here and look and get the back of the rib cage and those vertebrae in the back opening up. So I'd spend a couple times a day working through maybe 10 reps of that, going down and looking to the side if necessary, and helping to open that up. Give it a shot, let me know how it goes.